Good luck, boys. Good luck, boys. Give us away. Give us away, boys. Give us away, boys. You're the match referee for today. I am, yes. I, mean, I remember watching Stuart Nethercott, Darren Anderson, uh, David Howells, all these guys, and you know, being on the pitch is, is, is great. I mean, the aim of the match is A, to get people to enjoy themselves. Obviously, that's of paramount importance. But we are raising money for disadvantaged Jewish boys who study and live at Boys Town Jerusalem, an 18-acre campus in Bayat Vagan. And all the players that are representing Boys Town Jerusalem have had to raise sponsorship for the privilege, I suppose it is, of playing against, well, these heroes of yesteryear. It's an exciting game. Can't wait to play. Apparently, Darante has turned up. Uh, it's fantastic that the Spurs legends give of their time to raise money for such good causes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think uh, you know, the, for the boys, it's, just, it's a nice opportunity to get back together, and it's always nice to to play play football for a, for a good reason. That's what the Spurs legends team is all about, really. Coming and, and having enjoyable occasions, matches for good causes and this is obviously a very worthy cause and one we're looking forward to, to helping very much. We'll probably play about 20 odd games this year, we did last year and uh, we play all around the South East and it helps raise tens of thousands of pounds and uh, it makes you feel good as well. And, you know, this particular charity, obviously my, my daughters are Jewish, uh, so half of my family, so uh, for me it's obviously got a special meaning. You know, we like to play football and when it's for a good cause and you're raising money, uh, no better thing to turn up and to play against guys, you know, and uh, have a good day out. I like to be involved with um, helping worthy causes and obviously this one is a very, very worthy cause. It's a wonderful occasion to have a bit of fun, play with your heroes and also raise money for such good causes like Boys Town Jerusalem. Yeah, it's great to be able to combine the two. I mean, it's a fantastic charity. I've been reading a lot about it recently and it seems like the work they do is, is quite exceptional as, as well as being obviously from the heart. And then to combine that with the opportunity to, to do something which you've always wanted to do, it, it's a wonderful combination, so a real no-brainer. And it must be fantastic for the Boys Town Jerusalem players to play against these ex-pros. It is. We've done this on a number of occasions now. We did this on the same ground two years ago, and we also um, hosted against ex-Spurs, where Martin Chivers played, I have to say, back in 2007. And some of the players playing today for Boys Town have, you know, love Spurs so much, love football so much, that they've played in 2007, 2011, and again this time, 2013. Oh, I've always imagined I was a professional footballer. <laughs> That's no question about that bit. This is time I get to play against the professionals. <laughs> And I know that last time we played the uh, Boys Town Jerusalem, I believe it was double figures in our favour. So <laughs> I think this game's going to be a bit tighter. I think uh, obviously the Boys Town Jerusalem have got some good players as well. Uh, so I'm going to take a guess. I think there'll be goals in the game. Uh, I think Spurs might just edge it, but I don't think it'll be by much. And it's great because it's fantastic entertainment and raising money for Boys Town Jerusalem. That's right. I mean, hopefully we'll get a good crowd in today as well. I know the organisers have done a lot to publicise the game. And uh, like I say, hopefully the, the Spurs fans will turn out in force and see some of their old favourites again. And uh, like I say, and as you say, raise some money for, for good causes in the process. Your prediction? Uh, we're going to win 5-0. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think lining up against players that I used to watch from, from the stands with crowds of, of 35,000 is going to be going to be a real honour so now it's just about not making a, a fool of yourself on the pitch and, <laughs> and maybe maybe being able to score a goal or two that'd be nice. Uh, are you looking forward to playing against the Spurs legends? Uh, yeah they, we owe them they, they hammered us last time out 11-2 so uh, absolutely disgraceful <laughs> so uh, yeah looking forward. It's a fantastic opportunity to raise money for Boys Town Jerusalem and play against the Spurs legends. Uh, to get to both, both things done in one go is just uh, it's just amazing you know um, I mean, Lawrence, Lawrence has mentioned how much he's planning to raise, and if he, if he can get anywhere near that figure, then it's a very, very worthwhile day. Um, and plus, I might even get the opportunity to teach Darren Anderson how to play football. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what fond memories do you have of playing for England and Spurs? Need to play in a World Cup and, uh, and things like that. But yeah, I think my debut for, for Spurs, I, I, I will always remember, and I was very fortunate to play there for 12 years. Well, what, are, what are your biggest memories? 
obviously the FA Cup wins, uh, uh, my testimonial, and obviously the UEFA Cup when I scored in the finals. So that's probably the highlights. Uh, but I mean, I was there from a 13-year-old to an E28, so I, I've got lots of memories of Spurs. Your highlights playing for the Spurs? The FA Cup win of 1991, probably. Yeah, the semi-final when we beat Arsenal and the final, of course, uh, they would stand out for me. Obviously, when you win things, it's, 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 uh, it's always with you. I can't take that away from you. And so uh, to, to have won the FA Cup in 1991 would probably be the highlight for me. And your highlights playing for Spurs? Um, scoring on my debut, I think. Long time ago now, back in 92 against Brentford. Um, and basically every game I played, playing with these guys, you know, I didn't play many, but playing with these legends, uh, David Howes, Justin Edinburgh's, uh, all these boys, you know, Stu Nevercott, Darren Anderson, terrific players. And it's, it's great to see that they're still coming out and playing, you know, into their 40s and really still enjoying their stuff, which is what it's all about. Um, I played for Tottenham, uh, well, from the age of 11 years old, I was there as a kid. Um, I left there when I was 21. I uh, never played a game in the first team, but I played uh, a few reserve games and what have you. But uh, always fond memories of the club because obviously I grew up there. It's great for the players of Boys Town Jerusalem because they're playing against their heroes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's um, that, that. You know, we we do appreciate that. Um, you know, we have standards to upkeep in terms of people are, hope, are hoping that uh, they're playing against people who they've supported for many years, hopefully. And uh, it's great for them to, or for us to meet them um, and play football against them as well. So it's a good opportunity. Can I, can, can, can I ask what position you're playing in today? Yeah, I play centre forward. Ah. Yeah, so uh, hopefully the goal scorer. And uh, maybe Paul Miller will be uh, uh, one of the markers. Probably, he's my, uh, my, one of my best friend's father-in-law. Oh, so Miller. hopefully he'll take it easy on me. And what do you think the secret of Spurs' success at the moment is? Uh, good players, simple as that. They've got many fantastic players and AVB has come in and done a great job. And uh, do you think they're going to nick that second spot against uh, for Manchester City? I think they got a very good chance. I think uh, you know City, obviously champions last year. They um, having an, an off season, I think. Uh, but Spurs, are, they've gone on from last year, and I think they are more than capable of getting the second spot. The club are doing great. They're on. A, they're on a. Uh a great run at the moment, uh, unbeaten run, and uh, it looks like they're going to carry on. It looks like this year we'll get the Champions League, which we deserved. And uh, who knows, we could even win, win a UEFA Cup this year. And uh, Tottenham Football Club are doing so well in the Premiership now, aren't they? Yeah, they've got, they're have got having a very good season. Uh, got lots of very, very good players. Um, and things are going well. Yeah, it's, it's a good time to be uh, a Spurs man. At the moment, I think AVB's gone in there. He's doing a terrific job at the club. Um, they're most certainly on the way forward. They've got really good players at the minute. Good team ethic, and uh, there's certainly a team on the up. Yeah. Um, obviously, still follow the club, um, and you're just waiting for something to go wrong. Being a Spurs fan, but uh, long may it continue at the moment. Mm.